So I've done a bunch of the sanding. I just had a whole lot of little pinholes and stuff. So my plan is, and I'm hoping, to get this all sanded tonight. And uh, a little spurts of primer on stuff. That way I can give it a quick sand. I'll probably sand the rest of the doors and stuff. Like once I get some primer on there, I'm going to sand the rest of the doors, pull the handles off. Um, just so I can rattle can them. Um, I'm not sure what I'm doing up into the kick panels and stuff. I know I'm going to make a filler because I'll probably put a speaker in there or something. I don't know what I'm doing in the back. I could probably put speakers under the seat or something. When it comes that time. Uh, I still got to source out some rubber mat for this. It's almost, uh, I think what I have in my international is an area rug. Like a rubber backed, like hard rubber rug. But I just flipped it over so I get some insulation out of it and <clears throat> I get the rubber that I, I want for the flooring. So I might do that, just like slip it on both sides and just leave the doghouse open. Uh, my Dynamat's in but I gotta pick it up, didn't have a chance to do that today. I'll probably peel that stuff off my doghouse and I'll put some of that other um, Rhinoline stuff on top of there. Rhinoline? I don't know, it's like a, whatever, my sound deadening peel and stick, that's what's gonna go on it anyways, there in the floor. Um, so, yeah, that's the plan for today, or tonight, right now, it's 2 o'clock, no, not 2 o'clock, it's f almost 5 o'clock, so that's pretty much, uh, gonna go in for supper, hang out for a bit, and then, uh, come back out to the shop and do my thing. We've rattle can that so everything is a single color now. Just gonna wait for that to dry. And then uh, I guess tomorrow I'm gonna start the wind lace. I call it wind lace, whatever, that rubber seal I'm gonna put around. 
I gotta see if I have enough glue. My plan is to put it in. It's gonna screw it in place just to hold it, but I wanna glue it to the uh, trim so I don't need to keep the screws in. At least that's the plan. So I'll we'll let this dry and uh, yeah, I'll get back to it tomorrow. Looks okay. Looks one color anyways. <laughs> right, Doug? Color night. All right, let's go in. Hold on, I'm gonna blow you off. You are dirty. Look at you. Ready? Good boy. Okie doke. We are Wednesday. I'm uh got my sound deadening stuff. I'm not gonna be putting it on right now. For now, I got my like I say, I painted stuff up. Uh I'll probably work on the front dash to jet some paint on there. And uh Yeah, I started working on my windlay stuff. Okie doke. So here is our plan. I have some urethane, to which I am going to be applying on both sides of this trim. So when I fasten it to my edging, I'm going to screw it in. But when the urethane cures, I can pull all the screws out and it should have a nice edge without this weird screws all over the place. So, yeah, that's basically what I'm doing. So this one's all prepped, ready to go. So I'm gonna glue it, get it in place. I have to then work on my other pieces of trim so I can get them. I haven't test fit any of the other ones, so I'll probably do the two back ones right away because I know they work. And uh, then I'll uh, test fit my front doors with this stuff. I'll kind of show you as I go. This part here it just pinches up fine but around this edge I gotta split it open so my tool of choice for this hopefully you can see this way I kind of have this flat bill that I kind of just go in and I'm just splitting this wide open so once I get it seated right, I fill this with urethane, and then I can, uh, I don't need it there. Right around here. I'll be able to glue it 
for now I'm putting just a screw every inch or so up just to hold it in place while the glue sits. So now I just got to open this whole thing up and I'm going to test fit with a bunch of screws around, get my my positioning right and then uh, yeah, go to town, fill this thing with urethane and glue her in place. So here's clearly why I test fit. Like it's nice here, but here I can stick my hand everywhere. Whole darn thing. That rubber's just not sealing the same. So I'm not sure what to do here. I'll take it off and try putting it on backwards and see if that works better. Maybe not. Maybe I gotta go with a different plan. We'll see. Kind of did it the same as the other side, but clearly this is just a different rubber. <clears throat> oh. Clearly something's different. It doesn't overhang as much. So I don't know. Keep trying. I'll figure something out. So it looks like, hopefully you can see this. Looks like I gotta change my screws from the outside, like from the inside to the, I guess from the outside to the inside. Now it pushes the rubber seal up nice. So I just put the screws in temporarily. Well, I'm gonna do all of them. Get the door where it's supposed to be. And then uh, I'm going to glue it in. And then I can wait till that dries and I can pull all the screws out. Oh man, sorry guys, the lighting is just garbage right now. All right, slam down some better lighting. I took the screws out from the inside because it was kind of pushing this rail out. So I want it in more, so I kind of manipulated it the way I needed. Now, now it fits nice. Like before it was, uh, well down here doesn't, I've actually started unscrewing it, but it actually has a good fit now. Just cleans up the gaps and stuff. So, uh, now basically all I'm doing is I'm taking my urethane again and I'm just oozing it. I'm going to ooze it into here so that I can glue the trim on. I'll screw it on temporarily till the urethane cures and then I can pull all the screws out. And I should have a clean glued on wind lace. That's what I keep calling it. It's not actual weather stripping. Well, it is weather stripping but it's not the weather stripping for the door because on these trucks, it has a channel in here, and that's where your wind lace actually goes, or sorry, your weather stripping goes that seals up along the edge of the door. So, this is just, it's a bonus, but it is cosmetic. That's really all it is. I could have made some wind lacing, but I don't have a way to finish it nicely. Like I could have sewed something, but the rubber look just kind of has more of a, a factory look to it, I guess. So I'm gonna pull all the screws out, I'm going to apply glue, but then when I put the screws back in, at least I have the trim, the moldings where it was, where it worked for me. So that is what I'm doing. So I'm going to be doing that here. I'll be doing it to all the front doors yet. I'm going to be test fitting first. Once that's good, then I'm going to glue it, screw them in. Everything should be dry. So then later tonight I can take that all off.
Well, this stuff seems to be drying, working out pretty good. I gotta let it dry, I think, overnight before I pull the screws off because they seem to not take too much to kind of separate at this point. And then I had a few spots that were pulling away a little bit, so I st stabbed some more goo in there. So we'll let that sit, see how that goes. For now, I'm just gonna try to clean up this mess over here and prep for this uh, Dynamat stuff that I got. I don't know. This is what it is. I got it on Amazon. For the square footage, it was cheap. It's 36 square feet it does. So it should do the whole bottom of the floor here of the cab. It is just a typical peel and stick, but it is kind of a foam. Like a dense, dense foam. So, I don't know. We'll try it out, see how it is. I've done the asphalting, like the ice and water shield, and I've done all those things, but... <clears throat> The price of it, this ends up being about this cheaper actually because you get more square footage. It's just usually the inconvenience of having to order and get stuff is usually what does me in all the time. So, But we'll give this a shot. Uh, but I gotta clean all this out. I wanna do my corner lights, cab lights up there. So I wanna drill this side too, so I have two in the back. And I might do in the front, basically put four cab lights in. See how that goes, see how bright that is there. <laughs> and for those, well, I think I have a couple of them. I'm gonna try these. It should be bright enough for the whole cab, but we'll see. We'll try it out. At least I'll get the two back ones and then maybe I'll run a different style of light up in the front corners behind the, the driver and the passenger seat. Well, so far I'm really happy with this stuff. It's not very durable though. Like Dynamat, I think you have that layer on it and it's, uh, uh, you can't wreck it, if you know what I mean. Just this being foam, you can easily stick your nail in it, kind of mess around with it. But it does feel good. Like, you know, if I sit on it, it's, uh, my butt gets warm. <laughs> so it probably keeps some heat and coolness inside. I'll also be putting like a blanket of something over top of this yet. Um, probably like a pipe wrap, so it's got some insulation, and then there's a foil back, and then whatever I'm going to do for my my rubber matting, 
like I say, I think I'm going to use carpet runner or something like that where I got the carpet on the one side, but I'll turn it upside down, keep the rubber down, which then gives me some more insulation as well. Uh, I have it up on this half of the roof is done. No idea if you can see it. There we go. Like it sticks really good. So I don't know. I'm pretty happy with it. Again, this is what it's called. It's pretty much, it wasn't very expensive. It's like four mil thick, I guess you want to say. It does 36 square feet. So one box did pretty much my floor up to here. So I had, I had to open up the second box to do this, this chunk back here. It did everything up into the front and yeah, pretty much. Just about got my weird dog house and both pieces up. So I don't know, if you're doing a pickup truck, it's more than enough to do everything, one box, which I don't remember what it cost. It was not very much though. If I remember right, I got two boxes and it was $130 maybe shipped. That's Canadian, so that's whatever. Much cheaper American. Um, there are the stuff that is like Dynamat too. I don't know. I just opted to try this just because this is waterproof. Or it's supposed to be waterproof. Maybe it's not. It's a dense foam though. Pretty sure I showed it to you already, but like you can see it. It's That's the thing is though, it's kind of... Eh, I don't know. It's better than what I was going to do. So, and I got a nice layer on the roof. So, that's cool. I had to clean up there and I'm going to stick it over on that side too. I didn't go all the way down into the into the pocket because I probably have a shield or something coming up there yet. Somehow I'm going to finish up the top part. Anyways, I'm going to keep plugging away here. I want to do some more up in the front, under here. Do that whole firewall bit and stuff like that. I might throw a piece inside the two front cowl sections and then uh, I peel those covers off and I'll put one or two pieces in each door because I haven't really made a dent in this box there's a lot of this stuff in there so I'll finish up some stuff here finish up the roof yeah I don't know we'll keep going till I run out <laughs> if I have some left I'm gonna double up in some places around here because I can So as always, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. So now you're seeing a lot of this thing sitting around here. This one's actually the grandkid's car. He's uh, pretty much his first set of wheels, so we're kind of... I'm helping them through here. We're kind of mucking around with it. It had this weird uh, weird spoiler on the back, so we kind of cut that out and realized what kind of damage and stuff's on behind here. So we got to fix that up. I have them right now just doing a bunch of sanding, and I'm going to start showing them how to do some basic body work. Uh, we'll be getting around to doing a lot of the rust stuff and things like that, but eh, he's got a few years to go yet, but I feel... The car should be in really good shape by the time he uh, can actually get his license and muck around with it. So, If you guys think this is kind of cool, I'll try to get the kid involved and as we progress we'll kind of make some videos and kind of do some stuff with this. I know he's pretty pumped about it, so hey, if he's pumped, I'm pumped. So the fact he's taking the incentive and he wants to work on it. It looks like she's had a hard life in the past, so... I'm, uh, we're trying to fix it right. Well, as right as we can do. He's got a few years till he gets his license, so if we do get it to paint, I don't want it to look like a turd by the time he's, uh, can actually drive the thing, so. Most of she's, most of it's pretty good. We gotta deal with, uh, I guess the hood's flipped up with it on one part of its life here, so the hood and this front cowl section's pretty murdered. Along with the windshield, but we can deal with that. We took the spoiler off because somebody's made it out of some ease trofting or something like that. So that's why that thing looks the way it does. And uh, yeah, I guess in some part of its life, it's had some quarters put on, which eh, it's not great, but it's not terrible. So we're going to straighten some of that stuff out. We've got to fix these quarters. It had some really terrible like 
fins put onto the back of it, so I got them to cut those off, but they're, uh, we can realize it hit, uh, there was a whole lot of rot hidden behind there, so you can't tell from that side, but this side you can see the nightmare that was hidden behind there. And this quarter panel is pretty terrible. So anyways, I got them to cut it out. We're going to make a new chunk of quarter panel, basically fix it, and then try to find a proper wing for it and stuff like that. But anyways, I'm not sure if that you folks find that interesting or not, but yeah, we're going to go muck around with this sucker a little bit, or at least we will, the kid and I will, because yeah, I don't know. If this is going to be his first car, well, it's going to be a cool car. Got to do that, right? <laughs> Sure beats showing up in some modern whatever the heck.